What's going on guys? It's your man Ed Hayes here, back for another video. And in this one, I wanna put you all on to some opportunities that I just came across out in Chicago and the suburbs. And guys, look, it's looking like we're about to have some home run deals. We're leveraging text right now. So I kinda of wanna talk about why texting is so important, how cheap it is, how cost effective it is to really, really get out here and run your business, as well as being able to analyze the these couple opportunities that we have right now go over the numbers what I'm trying to sell it for and things of that nature so without further ado let's just go ahead let's get into it I with me that's a deal right that's a deal right that's a bet right that's a bet right that's a deal right that's a deal right that's a bet right that's a deal right that's a deal right that's a bet right that's a deal right that's a deal right hey coming down like precipitation I ain't never Look, man, so over this week, y'all, what's today? Was it like Tuesday, something like that? Look, over like these last seven days or so, we've brought in two opportunities so far um, via text that are looking like home run opportunities, man. I just want to kind of break down like the details of these deals and why I believe that texting right now is one of the best ways to get out here and get opportunities into your pipeline. So, so, you know, I've been running some texting campaigns using REI Reply, and there is going to be a link for REI Reply down in the description of this video. I really, really like REI Reply. It allows me to set up automated texting campaigns. So I'm not just sitting in front of the computer, like clicking a little button to send the next message out over and over and over again. I actually have it to where, you know, I, I click a button pretty much and it sends out like uh, two text messages, two ringless voicemail drops in. You know, I can have it set up to where it does more, but right now I just have it set up to where it does two text, two ringless voicemail drops. And we're pretty much contacting people out in Chicago right now, asking them if they'll be interested in selling their property, right? So uh, this was day two of the campaign. So day one, we didn't really get much happening or whatever. Day two comes around, yo. We got four yeses in a day. In fact, I'm going to see if I can pop up a little uh, something on the screen or whatever to actually show you the responses that we got. But we got four yeses in a day. Now, granted, only two of those people actually kind of like reply back and went through the entire process with us. Now, the first person, this property is out in Harvey, Illinois. I'm going to put someone up on the screen so you all can get a feel. For what it looks like now this is a single family residential it's a two bed one bath it's about 820 square feet so it's a little small um however this person told me right and let me just give you a little bit more details like it actually needs a full gut rehab the back door of the property looked like it was not looked like but it was actually just open so um like squat, I don't want to say squatters, but like drug users um, have obviously been inside of this property and using it to drink and do drugs and things of that nature. The properties that are on the left and right of this subject property are actually occupied. They do have uh, tenants inside of them. So that's a plus, you know, it's not just like a ton of vacant properties everywhere. But um, so look, let me tell y'all though, right? This property is beat up. This person says that they have not been to the property literally in like five, six years. They stay near the airport in Chicago, so they're maybe 30, 40 minutes, an hour away from the property. So they never go to it, and it's been vacant for quite some time. All right. So, you know, I have this conversation with the person we're building up great rapport. They're just talking, 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 right? I'm just letting them talk. I'm just listening. Long story short, I asked him, like, man, Lester, like, what would you be willing to let this property go for? Right? He's like, look, if you can close in a month, I'll sell you this property for a thousand bucks. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> so we got this property um under kind of like pretty much once he said that i'm like look look last i'm not gonna bs you we could pretty much make this happen right away i can go ahead and shoot you over that contract for the thousand obviously it's gonna be contingent upon the numbers actually making sense for me and my family but i can shoot you over that offer now if you're willing to accept that one thousand he's like okay cool 
Long story short, I shoot him out that contract. He signs immediately on the $1,000 contract. Now, right now, we're in the process of verifying some numbers, right? So I'm assuming that the rehab on his property is potentially going to be somewhere between on the lower end, maybe like 20, 25K if we just want to rent this property out, or it can be as high as like 40 to 45K if we want to flip this property and put it back on the market. So we've got options with this property. I'm not going to lie to you. I haven't fully determined what we're going to do with this one, but we want to verify that the numbers actually make sense. So today we're doing what I like to call like a soft, um, like a soft uh, title check on this property pretty much. So today we're going to be checking out the taxes on the property, checking out uh, the violations on the property to see whether it's on the demo list or not. We're going to be checking uh, the ownership of the property, just making sure that this person is actually the owner, um, as well as like taxes, liens, violations, pretty much everything that can go wrong with the property. We're doing like a soft title check ourselves in advance of it and sending it to the title company for them to do the official title check. All right. So now once we verify that the numbers actually make sense then we're either going to wholesale this property or we may, there's a slight chance we may actually keep this one for ourselves and just rent it out out there in Harvey or whatever. I could probably rent it out for like a, a thousand bucks a month. My mortgage on the property would probably only be like 300 bucks or something like that. So that could potentially turn into some good cash flow and I can get all of my money back in just a few years. So, you know, I, I'm kind of thinking about it or whatever, but let me tell you all um, about this other opportunity. So that's a great one right there. Granted, it needs a ton of work. It's in kind of like a crappier in the type of neighborhood or whatever. So it may or may not work. Real quick, guys. So yesterday I was recording this video and now I'm outside editing it. Well, yesterday we actually went through the process of like finding out what the, the taxes and violations are on this property. Well, come to find out this property has about $26,000 worth of taxes on the property and it's also on the demo list right now. So this property is expected to get demolished sooner than later. So we actually realized that we're, we're actually going to pass on this property ourselves. We're not actually going to try to fix and flip it or something like that. But I am still trying to sell it off uh, to a buyer. So we may just actually try to wholesale this one. Just wanted to give you all a little bit of insight as I was editing up this video. However, I do have this other property where, you know, I actually called this lady about a property in Riverdale. That's another suburb in, in Illinois. Shout out to all my Chicago and checking out this video. Video, man make sure y'all hit that like button for me but I called this lady about a property out in Riverdale and she's like yeah she's telling me all of the uh, like renovations that they've just done on the property and whatnot she's like yeah we just did that we just did that so I'm letting her talk or whatever she's kind of giving me the whole spiel one eternity later but then after that I'm like look it sounds to me like you're an investor like myself. I'm actually looking for something that has a little bit of meat on the bone, though. So, I mean, you wouldn't happen to have any other properties you're looking to sell now, would you? And this is a key question that I always tell my coaching clients to make sure that you ask if they have additional properties that they're looking to sell. You will be shocked that, like, if they're not looking to buy, a lot of times they're looking to sell. If they're not looking to sell that property, they may be looking to sell another one. So always, always, always ask that question. Do you have any other properties? properties that you're looking to sell. And when I asked that question, she was actually like, no, I don't have any other properties at the moment or whatever. I was like, oh, okay, no problem. She was like, oh no, actually, let me quit lying. I do have a little four unit over on da 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 I was like, okay, okay, well, let me check out some numbers, this and this and that, right? So she starts telling me about this property. It's a four unit building out in Chicago, which is a little rare. Like it's, it's kind of hard -er to come across those four unit buildings versus like the three units or the duplexes. So she has a four unit building in a pretty decent neighborhood. It's um, it's like right about on like 67th in South Chicago to all of my Chicago ones out there. But this property is a four unit. It's got like eight bath, uh, eight beds, four baths. Um, I believe that there's like four two bed, one bath units inside of it. One of the units is occupied right now and the other three are vacant. I actually just spoke with her right before I started making this video. And she says that she's going to get me inside of the property tomorrow afternoon. 
However, so, you know, I'm asking this lady questions about the property or whatever. She's telling me all of this information. I actually like, you know, I like to do this with a lot of investors who may want to sell me a property. I just ask them straight up, like, so tell me, like, what do you think, like, if you were going in and you were going to do the rehab yourself, how much do you think that it would cost to do the rehab? Like, what would you be expecting? She tells me I would be expecting to spend somewhere between 75 to 100K for the property. So I'm like, OK, all right. So, you know, I'm doing the math. You know, so the purchase price will be 180. The repairs could be as low as 75, as high as 100. So I'm just going to go with 100, right? All in, I'm at 280K. And it's looking like this property can sell for about 350 plus because it's a four unit building in a decent enough neighborhood to actually get it sold. So, I mean, to be honest with you, it may work for me to just grab this property myself using some hard money. That's actually what I'm considering on this one. Or we may just flip it off to another investor for like 200K so we can make like a 20K spread on this deal. So I've got options when it comes to this one as well, but this one really looks like a good one as well. Super excited. Look, y'all, it's been crazy out here. We've been coming across a ton of different opportunities. I got a phone call coming up soon, so I'm gonna wrap this up real, real soon. But look, y'all, y'all gotta leverage text y'all i literally just put two properties under contract in one day and spent less than two pennies to actually contact these people two pennies two conversations two contracts you smart do you understand what I'm saying, y'all? Like, and yeah, maybe some of y'all aren't as, you know, skilled or confident on those initial phone calls and stuff like that. But look, two pennies, y'all. <laughs> so, like, I highly recommend check out the link in the description of this video, man. Check out um, REI Reply. I literally love this company. It gets the job done when I say it. Like, I can't make this stuff up, y'all. So, like, y'all, y'all see it with y'all own two guys. Y'all see the properties. I'm giving y'all all of the details or whatever. I know that y'all like this. IRL content where, you know, kind of breaking down numbers and stuff like that. I know when I was first getting started, I used to love videos that actually broke down the numbers and the conversation so I can kind of get a feel of like what I need to do to actually get out here and get these deals. So I hope that this video has been helpful to you all. Man, look, if y'all think other people can find value in this video, make sure that y'all hit that share button, man. Drop this into some Facebook groups, drop it on Instagram or Twitter or wherever y'all, you know, do your normal social media stuff or whatever. Share this video with others drop me a comment down below if you found some value in this video look root me along man like hey hey look give me some love y'all i'm out here putting in some work and i'm gonna give you all all of the details every single step along the way even if we lose the deal or whatever it doesn't work i'm gonna make sure that i come back give you all some updates let y'all know what's going on out here in these markets y'all we not playing no games <laughs> anyway though y'all look i got a phone call coming up man I hope that this video helps. Hit the like button for me. Comment down below. And until next time, guys, we are out. <laughs>